Hello and welcome back to Lord Fett Gaming Plays Neverwinter Tonight's Enhanced Edition Shadows of Undentide. I'm your host Lord Fett and today's Neverwinter Tonight's Enhanced Edition Shadows of Undentide video. I'm in chapter one, this time Hilltop East. As always, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more Neverwinter Tonight's videos just like this. And also hit that notification bell so be updated my Dungeon and Dragon content and more. In this video today, we're going to finish up Hilltop East, do some questing. And we're going to have some general fun doing so. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and uh, of course talk to some people. I'll give everybody a nice update on that. So we're going to go ahead and talk to uh, the halflings right up ahead first.
You see this shop? Well, guess what, everyone? It is for thieves. Yeah, only thieves, really. Well, actually, some of the other classes use some items. Here's the good news. Quartz crystals. They sell it some gems, too. And some catnaps. Really nice shop. Again, like I said, for, for thieves, especially for making traps. Those quartz quiz crystals will come in handy. We're going to go ahead and talk to this red wizard. I'll tell you why after I am done, I turn down this quest. Still, if you're evil, you definitely want to do this quest. Salutations. Now, really quick, I'm a good guy. I turned it down. He will not go after us, just a veiled threat. Next up, there will be a quest coming up. I am definitely going to do this one. Oh boy, her husband's dead. Oh boy. Oh boy, boy, boy. That's not good. Now, next part, you have dexterity. You can snatch the uh, baby from the cobalt upstairs. If not, make sure you have a gem. Otherwise, you risk getting the kid killed. He really don't want to do that. So, why don't we do some of his uh, bribery? I'll return afterwards. There's the uh, kid. Kid's all alive. All right. This is uh, good news. Now, here's the thing about the uh, kid. There's supposed to be an achievement. I think it was. It doesn't work on uh, Steam sometimes. You uh, get it if you return to the uh, mother. Yeah, this one was very simple to do. I had to do the gem route. Still, I'm going to go ahead and turn the uh, kid back to the mother. Also, give her a little bit something extra because I'm a really nice guy. So, let's get rewarded. Now, remember the Red Wizard of Thay that I uh, sent away? He threatened us. I played a Black Guard in this one, well, expiring Black Guard at the uh, time. What happened was, is, uh, if you keep the baby, you give it to the Red Wizard of Thay. What happens is, uh, he'll uh, bring in someone for sacrifice, you get evil points out of it. 
Also, what was very uh, neat was, is, uh, of course, uh, if you uh, allow the Red Wizard to stay in the town, you kill the mayor's assistant, bodyguards, and mayor. He uh, takes over the house where you uh, break and enter. Uh, see that guy there? Yeah, he gets kicked out. And it's a magical shop, which is really nice if you're evil. I'm a good guy. I chase them away. Kids back to her mother. And she got some extra money. Now, next part. We'll get some tarot cards back for the halfling uh, fortune teller. Yeah, that's very important. Really important. Also, there's a recipe item I'm going to show you too. Well, here's the thing about the recipe item. It's really good. It makes a nice uh, magical item out of it. I'll show you that later on in the uh, video. But first, this is the house where you want to uh, go. This house. And if you're stealthy like me, go ahead and stealth. There's like, I think it's one, two trigger ambush points. Now, I'm going to show you where this one item's at. This is for the grinder, so this way you can combine that item with quartz crystal. It makes a powerful jewelry for this chapter. Powerful because it has a nice immunity to it. I'll show you that off, I believe. Yeah, also touching that, you get disease. If you're a paladin, and I think it's level 3 paladin, you'll do fine. Otherwise, use a healing kit. Yeah, I'm healing myself up, and voila, I'm all healed up, no diseases. I got a nice free ingredient for the grinder later on. Now, the uh, cards are downstairs. There's a cobalt having it. Well, guess what? That cobalt's going to die. We have two stealthers, and two versus one sneaking around is really uh, good. That's why I'm going a little bit slow, so I avoid any extra ambushes. Well, actually, I think the Enhanced Edition or something like that got rid of them. So, I'm going to go ahead and get into combat and be sneaky about it. The cobalt is dead. I'm just going to be a little bit sneaky. Look for anything else. Traps included. Got the cards though. That's the uh, great news. Now I'm being real smart about this. Because on the way out. If you're not sneaky. Yeah they will be ambushed. Like I said before. I am not sure if the. Uh, what you call it, Enhanced Edition got rid of that encounter. Probably uh, didn't. But still I'm just going to be sneaky. Besides I got to practice for it. I mean, I was playing uh, Fire, Red Dragon, Disciple, and of course, a Bard all rolled in one. This one's a Rogue, one level Shadow Dancer, and a few levels of Champion of Torm. Yeah, I gotta get my sneak on and trap laying on too. So, all I'm gonna do is go ahead, get back uh, right to the Halfling's camp, turn the cards because, yeah, I wanna get my reading. Seriously. Besides, I want to do another good deed. I already did two today. Chase out a red rizzer of Thay. And of course, I helped out a mother getting her baby back. Which is a nice thing. So I'm going to do some turn in. And I'll return after. Please to see.
Oh, wow. That was actually a good fortune telly. I'm glad I helped her out. Plus, she's a cleric shop, too, which is uh, great. Now, you see that mold I have? I'm going back to Drogon's house. You're saying, why not use a teleportation crystal? Well, here's the deal. I'm saving them for the latter part of this uh, chapter. I'm playing it very wisely. So, as I'm going back to Master Drogon's house, you see the house on the right? I'm passing by. That's the house that the Red Wizard Thay takes over. I, how do I know this? Aspiring Blackguard, I played that. I was going for every evil option in the game at the time. Yeah, I kill some people, give the baby to the Red Wizard Thay, and I did some other bad things. It was really good. Yeah, this game is really fun playing good and evil. Well, actually, it's really fun when you play evil too. In this uh, expansion, it has some nice evil options. So I'm going to go upstairs. What you're going to do is you want to combine the mold that you uh, got and the quartz crystal. And you make a nice item out of it. It gives you immunity, I think, to diseases. Yeah, I, th I believe it does. And it's very valuable. Anything with immunities, especially early on, I feel is really valuable. So you put those two items there. And there's your ring. Make sure you keep it. Only you. So I'm done with that part. And that is a nice ring. That is a really nice ring. Yeah, I am definitely going to equip that sucker. Oh, wow. This is like really nice. Wow. Oh, man. I'm going to love this ring. Yeah, like I said before, anything with immunities... Yeah, early on, it's great. Especially in this expansion. It's like gold. Well, then again, the original campaign has so many items that was immune to stuff. That made certain things trivial. Well, guess what Bioware did? They balanced it like crazy. That's why this uh, expansion is uh, one of the tougher ones. But it is well worth playing. The story is very rich. I'm going to go ahead and go to the uh, shop. And then I'm going to go, what do you call it, cut out the... Uh, other stuff I'm selling too. Identify that nice uh, ring, which is going to be disease immunity. There is one encounter that is it is really useful on, and also possibly for rest of the game. Well, actually, it's useful uh, later on too. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that identified, sold, etc. There, I got it all done. So now next stop will be the uh, foothills. Yeah, I'm gonna end the video at that spot. Beforehand, I'm going to talk to a guard there at Hilltop East. It'll be for the last time and telling him I'm going bye bye. Also, I'm asking him, where did the kobolds go? Well, actually, I'll find out instead of him. But still, you want to get some information, talk to people. It does not hurt in this uh, game. <laughs> Here's a recap for uh, today's video besides reading that cool uh, sign I just see. Number one, chase out a Red Rizzer Thay representative. Number uh, two, you reunite a mother with her uh, baby. Helped out the uh, halflings big time. Got a nice ring out of it. In our next video, we're going to do the foothills. Well, this is it for my Neverwood Tonight's Enhanced Edition Shadows of Undin Tide. Chapter 1, Hilltop East video. This is Lord Fenton signing off. Thank you for watching. And have a wonderful day or night. Please stay safe. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And do not forget to hit that notification bell to be updated on my videos and more. If you like more videos like I suggested, check out the one on the upper left. And on the bottom left, if you like YouTube suggestion of my videos.